Hey guys, it's Jared here from the Computer Drop, and I'm going to be showing you a review of the Mac Mini. Drop test. Gaming. How to videos. This is the Computer Drop. Now, as you look at the back, there is the power button, power source. Uh, there's no power brick, it is actually inside, so it's just a little cord. So, you know, that is really, really nice. You have your Ethernet, FireWire, HDMI, Thunderbolt, USB 3.0, and there is four of them. Your fan, your SD, audio, and your headphone jack. Alright, let's go straight to the boot-up test. So, in the boot-up test, I have my iPad here. And, you know, just using the timer, and I'm going to hit the button, and we'll be off to a start. And so, I hear the bell, and I start. No, no, you know, ding. This does take around 39 seconds. It is running a little slow today. I don't know why I really don't turn it on and off, but it's that standard hard drive, the 5400 RPMs. Uh, it does not have an SSD, so that does make quite a difference. I would suggest getting an SSD in it, you know. Even putting one in the little tray in the bottom, even though you have to take out everything. There's a little tray in the bottom. You can put an SSD in there and put that up as the main drive. And that will really increase the performance. Or put 16 gigabytes in it, and that will also increase the performance of it. As I said, about 39 seconds. Uh, next, we're going to just run through some specs here. So I'll go to about this Mac. And as you can see, it has 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor, 12 gigs of DDR3 RAM, and it also has Intel HD graphics, 4,768 megabytes. And it is supporting one LG TV display, 1360 by 768. It has that 500 standard that's a uh, hard drive and 12 gigs of RAM, which I did upgrade. So that is that part on that. And now we're going to go to applications. We're going to do a stress test. This is done by opening all the apps at once. Uh, this does take quite a while. So I think I will. No, I don't think I'll actually fast forward this. Um as i did uh, do uh, did say it does take quite a while that is the matter of fact that uh some things like iMovie uTorrent and there it actually froze uh actually froze quick time while i was recording but it actually froze there it froze again but you know some of them are over a gigabyte Perhaps, so it does take a while, and as I said, if you had an SSD, this would be a lot faster, uh, although it would be a lot more expensive. This is the baseline model. I've just upgraded it some. It has the, it had the standard 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabyte, it now has 12 gigs of RAM, and it's running Intel Core i5, as I've said, and it actually works pretty quick. As you can see, iMovie, GarageBand, iPhoto, and Pages. And uh, I believe it's like Autobot are the last because they are some of the biggest files to open. So there's that part. Uh, if you guys are wondering, uh, the Mac Mini is actually really good at photo editing and video editing. It does take a while to upload some videos depending on the quality. 1080p is obviously going to take the longest, but it can edit 1080p, 720 uh, you know, any, and it does have a low read and write at about 100 each. So, you know, high 80s, low 100. Alright, and it actually opened them all. And not too bad. And uh, it does have pretty good gaming on Minecraft. As uh, on here, this was actually averaging 53 frames per second. Or a 30 chunk update, and that's actually really good compared to my laptop. We get 19 to 20, and that was a Windows 8 computer. Now, I'm gonna do the Nova Bench test here. And sorry about the weird lighting I'm doing this on my camera, but 
you know, let's just kind of test the speed of it. And as I said, this does have the 12 gigabytes of RAM, so it's obviously going to be higher compared to the regular like 580. Uh, now, uh, each of them can be upgraded in their hard drive to an SSD. They can be all upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM and, you know, things along those lines. That is really nice. So, you know, very customizable. I would suggest it if you're a first time Mac user. Uh, this is actually my first Mac and it has been outstanding. And it's going to finish right about now. Score 707. So, basically, just to end this video, I'd like to say, you know, it is very good computer. Very good for a first time Mac user. Suggest it to anybody if you're looking to get like a Mac Pro or something and you don't want to spend the extra money but you know that you're getting the exact same amount for well four to five hundred dollars less just always depending and you know it's not it is actually portable not as much as you think you, know, you can make it portable if you really wanted to but that's all I'm going to have time for, guys. I will, in fact, see you later. Peace out.